Yeah, it's been unbelievable so far. You know, thir 13 wins this year so far. That's uh, second in Western history. So uh, we're just looking to keep it going. And uh, we got two chances at championship coming up, both against Akron. So uh, we're going to go for that regular season title and as well as the, the MAC uh, tournament title. So the non-conference play seems like prepared you guys for your tough conference schedule. Just talk about that process of playing those larger teams, those higher quality teams, getting you ready for your conference play. Yeah, so so it was a very tough start. You know, we had we had Butler game, which which we we dropped, and then we had uh, four straight Big Ten or three straight Big Ten teams, and and we were ta able to take them all out and. Uh, that really gave us the confidence, you know, going into our conference play and as well as the other non-conference games that we could beat anyone. And it, it doesn't matter how, how big the school is, how, how much like money or whatever that they have. Like we knew we would go into any game knowing we could win. And that, that start really, really paved the way for us. You could tell there was momentum with each win that you guys have had. And you can see it on the field. Just talk about the chemistry within the guys in the locker room. Oh yeah, it's been unbelievable. Uh, the the start of the season, you know, preseason, we all we all got together. The coaches worked really hard, as well as us as leaders, to uh, make sure everyone was was so close and so so like well joined on the field together. And uh, I think you really see that, you know, with our with our goal celebrations or whether it be our, our talks together on the field. Like you can see how much we care about each other, how how close we are as a group, and uh, I just look forward to to keeping it going with these guys. Big win against Bowling Green. You guys play Akron, potentially to host the MAC championship. Talk about the potential this team has. Yeah, I mean, it would be it would be awesome to to, to host another uh, MAC championship here. But uh, we, we got to go there and take care of business first. So uh, coming off that BG win, you know, we we got them for a second time this year. So we're going to be be confident and uh, ready for that Akron game. Yeah, we had a, a tough schedule to start the season with some Big Ten opponents. Uh, we opened up at Butler, unfortunately lost that one. Um, only one of two losses this year came at Butler. Um, and then we ran on that nine game win streak and, and we had some tough opponents in that in that streak and uh, some Michigan opponents as well kept that streak going. So it's been a pretty up and down season, even though we've done really well. There's been some games that we won and maybe we felt uh, we kind of kind of got away with a win. But other than that, it's been a great season so far. So you talk about, you know, kind of the team feeling differently about games or, you know, similarly about games. Talk about that chemistry and what that's done for, you know, you guys on the field. Yeah, I think that um, when we went up to Boyne uh, in preseason, I think that really helped with the team chemistry. Um, we stayed in, in hotel rooms uh, with, with everybody pretty much, you know, it was like 13 guys per room. So everybody got really close over that trip. Uh, some of us got, I, I personally got close with guys that I've been playing with for, for four years now that I wasn't close with yet. And it took me four years and something like Boyne for us to get close. And I think that that kind of has a huge thing to do with the chemistry for sure. And big win against Bowling Green recently, going up against another tough conference foe, Akron, almost a rival, uh, to potentially host the MAC championship. Just talk about the potential that this team right here has. Yeah, I mean, it's been a battle with Akron for the last couple of years. Um, I fortunately have, have been on the better side of the, of the rivalry, but... Um, yeah, past, past Bronco teams have struggled with Akron. They're always a great program. So uh, we got two shots at them for a championship game. So we're going to go out there and try to win the first one so we can host here and, and then we can uh, get a championship in front of our crowd. I mean, got off to a rough start. Loss on the road to Butler against a good team. Um, but ever since then, we've turned it around. We rattled off three straight wins against Big Ten opponents and we carried that momentum into the rest of the season. Right now, we're looking at a record of 13, 2 and 1 which is, um, I mean, couldn't ask for much more at the start of the season. We put ourselves in a great position to win back-to-back -back championships and, and look at the national tournament for postseason. So I think um, you can't ask for much more from the season as, as, um, as a whole, and I'm proud of the boys for that. How do you feel those Big Ten and non-conference Power Five opponents have helped you prepare for the MAC play? I mean, yeah, we always want to create a strong strength, strength of schedule outside of the MAC because um, playing against good teams is going to prepare you for that conference play. Um, so yeah, I think it, it's been really helpful with preparing us and as you can see from our performance in the MAC, I think um, we've carried that momentum on and, and we've, we've now put ourselves in a position to, to possibly win the regular season and the, and the championship. So, yeah. And if you've been following Western Michigan soccer, you guys can tell the chemistry on the team has progressively grown and gained throughout the season. Just talk to me about what it's been like. I mean, yeah, so ever since preseason, I mean, coach took us up north to Boyne Mountain and we, we had a little getaway there for a couple of weeks in preseason. I think that really helped to build chemistry. And ever since then, we've just we've just grown on and off the field, you know, celebrating the wins with the team. 
um, getting through the tough moments as a team and, and doing it all together. And I think that's helped everyone on and off the field. Everyone's fully bought in and, and, and we're working as a cohesive unit. And, and I think that's been really helpful. Toppled Bowling Green recently. You have another Ohio foe you got to get through before you guys are MAC champions. What's the potential on this team and what do you guys have to do to make it there? I think we've got to keep doing what we're doing. I mean, we're, we're, we've got the chemistry, we've got the we've got the capability to go and get the win. Akron are a, are a top 25 team right now. I think they're seeded something like 15 for the for the pre for the pre tournament polls. So I mean, it's going to be tough. They they got the better of us at our place, but I think um, we know that we were capable of, of, of beating them on that day and we're going to be capable of beating them um, at the weekend. So I think we just need to carry on the momentum that we've built from the Bowling Green win and um, I think we'll get the job done. We started off the season with a loss on the road at Butler. They're a good team, um, but we were definitely upset with that. And then we rattled off, I think, nine straight victories um, and three of those being against Big Ten opponents, which is a big deal for us. We value those games. Uh, and then the next six, we, we were definitely hitting a stride and that definitely carried over in conference play where uh, we were definitely confident with whoever we were coming up against. And I know the first result against Akron on our field right here didn't really go our way, but I think uh, we, we were still confident that we could have won that game on the day. And so when uh, speaking about Sunday, the upcoming game, we're playing for a MAC championship. And I think we're fully confident that we can win that game. And uh, obviously, again, we're going to play them next weekend. So the lot of Western Michigan fans can tell that the chemistry on the field has been exponentially growing a lot because of the energy that you provide. Um, how do you feel about being that kind of spark plug for the team? I mean, every time you score, every time there's a big play, you're always out there congratulating your guys. Just what kind of, do you take pride in that? And, and what do you do to keep, keep the energy high? Yeah, of course. Uh, we have an experienced group of players. A lot of players have played many years of college soccer, which is a big deal when it comes to winning games. You need to have an experienced group, and we definitely have that. Um, when speaking about energy on the field, I'm not the only one that's bringing that. Uh, there's there's all starting 11 definitely brings that. And then whoever comes off, you know, the reserves coming on, they definitely bring a little spark to them as well. So it's nice. So you talked about Akron. Um, talk about the potential that this team has. I mean, with the chemistry, with the talent, how far do you see this team going? Well, potential is a good word, but potential doesn't mean anything if you don't get the results. Uh, we're fully focused on this Sunday. We have a chance to win a regular season MAC championship. And we're not going to look any farther forward to that. We're not going to look at the NCAA. We're not going to look at the tournament yet. We're fully focused on Sunday winning that regular season.